All right, we are back with Act 2 of Inscription. Look at this. We, we got a new game option here. I don't know what the heck is going to happen. I'm ready to, to get it going. I'm begging you. I, I hate to start the video with this kind of energy. I'm begging you, if you are a, a, an Inscription fan, just enjoy yourself for like the first 15 minutes. Because, like, me, I started the game. We've been talking about how I've been getting cyber bullied. When's the game coming? When's the, It's been seven seconds since you played the game. I literally started playing the game. The first thing I saw is, like, I'm excited for another three minutes of this today before he cuts it early. Just just chill. Just Can we all just have fun for, like, a little bit here? It'll be a good time, okay? We're starting No Man's Sky. No cards existed. That is, until the scribes arrived. Excuse me? The stoat is... Uh, is also the same class of character as that individual. The Stoat is a bad guy. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Well, Lashy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Lashy. We put a name on it. PO3 used the particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. Bro, that is the Stoat right there. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. It's me, maybe? Or is this the, the, green, uh, the green jar of goo? What the heck? It's Undertale? Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Okay. Honestly, dude. Give me the beast. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts. Sure, take the deck. The cards were added to your collection. The beast. Hey, we love the beast. What is this? So this, maybe this is act one. Because it was inside of the cabin. This is like the mausoleum. This is the wizard's tower, and this is robot's nightmare. Um, you know, I mean, let's let's check out the let's check out the mausoleum. What's going? What the heck is this, man? It's now Pokemon. You're here, marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced, though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Of course, of course. It's a coffin. You sifted through the bones and found a card pack inside. You received a deathly card pack. What? What the heck? <laughs> Pharaoh's pets. I see some blood goats. I don't know what else. New. Double gunner. Double gunner will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across it. It costs... Does that mean it costs six bones or does this cost six... Um, I don't even know, six bits? Six ones and zeros? Headless Horseman, Airborne. Thirteen bones, five five flyer. At the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction. I mean, it's a rare, how could I not? When Ruby Golem perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its place? Holy. The cards were, oh, you get all of them! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let us get it over with. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather, your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? No? Apparently, no? Give me, um, I mean, I think we want probably seven squirrels. That's land. The heck is this? Do not gaze upon me. I mean, let, let's be honest here. I don't even know what, what you... I don't know how we pay uh, play you. <laughs> Let's think here. 
Stout. We have three stouts. We got two adders. We got three hawks. I mean, if we're building a deck here, Headless Horseman costs 13 bones to get out. I don't even know if I can play you. I don't know if I can play you, but let's put you let's put you in the deck and learn something. In invalid, invalid. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a blood goat, or is it? It's the Pharaoh's pets. Okay, give me two of those. Sure, why not? Um, we'll toss one of these headless horsemen in here. We got eight more cards to fit. All right, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. How about that? Back to game. That looks much better. Where were we? Okay, let's battle. All right, this is different. You froze in fear as the words of the great scribe of beasts entered your skull uninvited. Fear not, I only wish to explain to you the deck that you selected. In order to play my cards, sacrifices must be made. The scribe assessed your reaction, noting you did not seem surprised by that information. Perhaps you need no lesson, but remember that almost anything can be sacrificed and may bleed oil or even marrow. But if it bleeds, you know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, you're a 2-3 bone hound. Jeez. How'd you get a card of uh, your mom? Um, your, um, uh, all right. I'll be as, I'm a simple man. You summon a squirrel. You sack it. You, what the heck does this mean? You sack it. I would like to sacrifice you. Yeah, gain blood by... Oh, it costs two blood. I'm stupid. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Okay, well, in that case, I, I actually just forgot how to play. We'll, we'll play a stout briefly and pass our turn. We'll do one damage and take two. And then you'll move here, which nullifies... Wait. Oh, no, when a creature is placed. Okay, even better. You're a 3-1. After attacking, you die. All right, all right. So check this out. Um, you need energy. We only have two. We need six. Okay, new mechanic discovered. I do not have a squirrel. As a result, I will do one damage to you. You will then kill me and then die yourself. But we're, we're in a nightmare situation here. We got to get something out there. We got to put out a squirrel as a chump. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What, what have I done? Forget that. Um, we're going to put out a squirrel as a chump blocker. And wait till we get to six energy so we can play our double gunner. Don't kill me. It's going kind of badly. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. You cost six bones. Do we know how many? We only have four bones. Bro, we're toasted. I don't know. Like... <laughs> Can you sack them? I think we're about to get our ass beat, man. Like we there's there's no play for us. We literally we 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 so relied on having a, a squirrel as a possible draw. We got we got mana screwed, man. We got mana screwed. Oh dear, does that mean you will try again? Honestly, you're kind of a piece. Hark, a living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig is a lime. V think ye will squeeze a defeat out of me. Let's see. Ghost ship. At the end of the owner's turn, it'll move to the right and drop a skeleton. Understandable. After attacking, you perish. How do we play you? You need orange gems, which you get by playing a mox card. Understood. Um... I think we actually have an okay draw here. Put this down past turn. We'll hit you for one. You'll hit us for one. You'll drop a skeleton that uh, will not get an attack through regardless. You block your own unit. Bet you feel pretty stupid right now. We have no reason to play anything, quite frankly. very hard for me to justify putting a 1-1 one, one on the board. We take, we're going to take two, we're going to do one, but the skeletons will break. I think we just want to hang in there until we can play our, our dual gunner. If possible. 
So now you got one skeleton, but you're blocking another skeleton. Okay, for two squirrels, I don't mind getting an adder out there. Like, I don't, I don't mind tossing, like, a little bit of this out there. A little bit of extra damage coming out. The ghost ship has emerged from the deep. It is trapped. You love to see that. The skeletons collapse into a pile of bones. What the? Okay, 13. We cannot play you, but it's an interesting thought. Ghost ship emerges from the deep. They haven't quite gotten you yet. Now, this turn, we can play our dual gunner. Just think about it for a second, because I'd rather you didn't kill me. <laughs> but I don't know if there's a way you can really get around that. Um... We come so close to killing you. I'm just stoked that at least I get to play you. Hey! We actually won a battle. Look at that. Aye, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. You received a deathly card pack. Okay. Mummy Lord, eight bones. Bone Heap. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Bone Heap. That's interesting. That's interesting. Sapphire Mox can't be sacrificed. While well, it's on the board, it provides a blue gem. I mean, add them all, man. Add them all. Ah, because you bested me, I'll share me secret. Me name's Royal. It's eyes the far right to him. Here's the headpiece. What the heck are you talking about? Royal Dominguez, 1589 to spring 1639. My name's Royal. It's the far right to him. Var, life didn't give me lemon, so I, I get it. You got scurvy. My man actually got scurvy. Hit by a falling piece of ice. A card pack. It's another deathly card pack. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a big believer in... What if we just removed everything from our deck and then you built one for us? I just want to see how that works. Okay. Why don't you just net deck for me? How does that sound? You found a piece of an epitaph. Whoa! What the heck? I, I, I'm I Isaac. I entered the mirror realm. I were once the finest pirate of the seas. Look at me now, buried under the far right tomb. Oh no, do not look upon me. What the heck happened? I'm like, a, I'm a whole new guy. Yeah, hold on, hold on. There we go. Put me here. Do not perceive me. Is it just like, is that like the vanity in Isaac? Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Bone Heap. You move every time. Da dunk. Da dunk. Da dunk. Da dunk. Da dunk. When a warren is played, a rabbit's created in your hand. I like this. Hold on. When a warren is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. I don't mind if you kill my ass. Go ahead. Warren pulls out a rabbit. A rabbit is an 01. Costs nothing. We have one bone. Check this shit out. Get out here. Get sacked to create another rabbit. Play me a little bone heap. You just played a card with an activated ability. The great scribe's instructions began to echo through your mind. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. I'm saying for now, we don't even need to press it. Just store it for a moment. Maybe we could just play 12 bones and kill you instantly. How does that sound, you piece? After attacking, you perish? Guess what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm so smart. Exit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Kind of. Okay, you might as we might as well press it. Bone heap go grows stronger. Should have pressed it earlier. This this three lord is dying. We don't care for that. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. You cost three bones. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. You're gonna create uh, more bones for me. Okay. I, I I like where your head's at, I guess. That seems cool. No matter where we play this, you're going to move over. When another creature you can try... I, I think we we actually buff you this turn so that we break even with this Bonehound. 
And then we try to find another creature that we can use to kind of bait this out. After attacking, perishes, costs three bones. Do we... I'm just going to be honest. I thought we lethaled your ass. There we go. That's... Okay, hold on. When it dies, does sacrifice count as die? It doesn't matter because, you know, we... Oh, we don't have any bones. <sighs> okay, generate some bones for me or you're a piece. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. How about this? How about this, you piece? You get sacked. You suck. Come over here. We pulled out a rabbit. Bonehound leaps over the block. How about this? We play a necromancer. How about this? We play a rabbit. Thanks for nothing, dumbass. You lose. <laughs> it is over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Salmon. It will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. You talked about how the bones were their money like four times. <laughs> I know, that's because I forgot whether I'd said it or not. I am called Sawyer. That middle stone marks my grave. Wait, is this all just like a lost ARG? You found a piece of an epitaph, Sawyer Patel, 1702 to fall 1778. Honestly, that's not that bad. I mean, you lived for 17 years in the 18th century. That's not so bad, man. So he's in the far right tomb. I don't. Did you did you tell me where you were? Please do not hawk or beg. The middle stone marks my grave, bro, bro. This is the real. That's the fake tomb. That's the fake tomb right there. Bird, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. This guy definitely died in 1992. Draugr. When it perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Banshee will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature... Oh, no. Okay, so you're you're flying. I understand. That makes a lot of sense. That's my bad. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, is, I mean, it's so simple. You play a squirrel. You should have bought a squirrel. Oh, wait, we did. Then we're going to create a warren that's going to create a rabbit. Then we're going to play... Two things. We're going to sack them both. Put our hawk out here. I love when you have a beefy flyer opposing a crappy flyer... You're like, that's the dream. Because mathematically, we basically own your ass. Like, it's already over, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. Breaking the game again. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Dude, the EV on these is kind of disgusting. You did beat me, so I guess I gotta fess up. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of an ass. Wah! <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell ya? 1992. Speak one sentence to me and I can tell you when you were born or when you died. You pulled up an epitaph piece. The defibrillator failed. Okay, I mean, that's sad news, honestly. Hold on, what, we got, no, nothing there. Oh, hello. Money. You wish to trade? Yo, it's the Pelt Lord. I don't really wish to trade. You could buy packs though, holy crap. Hold, did he want film? Did he want film? Is that what was happening there? Another pack for me? No. Another pack for me? Foul smells! Uh-oh, you have no offering? All right, I guess I'll leave then. Uh, so you're you're on the right, you're on the left, you're in the middle. Wait, you're on the left. You're that means the middle one's fake. Okay, sorry. It's a puzzle. Just give me one moment. <laughs> you the defibrillator failed. Then this is the one on the right. Oh, son of a. I wasn't paying attention in the slightest. 
That's me. That's tag yourself. That's me. Right was Royal Dominguez. Brought down by Scurvy. There was no cure. Left, Casey Hobbs, hit by a piece of falling ice, the defibrillator failed. Middle, Sawyer Patel, eaten by a hungry dog, does not hold a grudge. I'm so smart. I'm actually kind of insane. I believe you've proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. We're already doing the boss fight? Marvelous. Just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits until he one day discovered. But you prevailed, and now it's time to battle. Yo, do 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 Okay, Bonehound, kind of annoying. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. What the heck is this? Broken oboe. When it dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. That's kind of sick. As is the music. Oh, there's two lives, by the way. Bonehound leaps over the block. Yeah, no kidding. Don't get tired. Or whatever. I mean, honestly, I want to keep you out there. I don't really want to summon a broken oboe for the time... Uh, being, I would rather, whoops, I would rather draw some cards and see if we can get a bone heap that we could, that we could buff a little bit. Um, sarcophagus, it will grow into a more powerful unit after one turn. Banshee is a flyer. I mean, this is pretty bad. I don't see how we're going to get out of this. <laughs> Hear me out here. Yeah, and I, I know I don't have enough bones, you piece. <laughs> Bonehound moves over to block. Let's leave it like this for the time being. Now we have three bones and we can start to think about our future. Like, for example, what if I... Play a Necromancer. You can't move because you're a piece. Then I play a Squirrel. You can't move because you're a piece. Then I sack you, which brings you back and you die again. Thanks for the double bones. Then I summon a war in here. You can't move because you're a piece, so you keep blocking the Banshee. You love to see this. You love to see this. Um, it's all about it's all about blocking the space on the board, man. Straight up, I'm like past my turn right now. Sarcophagus is probably gonna kill our Necroman. Oh my God, it's Mummy Lord. It's all right. We we get a. We, we have a lot of bones, which was kind of what I was looking for, quite frankly. You're an O2, straight up, like, stick me with one of these for now. We can definitely get some good value out of this. We just have to survive two turns until we can play our Guardian. Broken Obol yielded you five bones. This is, we're actually pogging, and I'm not joking. Looks something like this. Looks something like this. Looks something like this. Pass turn. And then next turn, I've got max energy. And you are going to be so ashamed of your words and your deeds. Get ready. We summon you here. This guy moves over. Oh no, what are you doing, dummy? Just kidding. He's back there. We kill the mummy lord. We start feeding some damage downfield. 
Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. Rip Mummy Lord, turn two to turn six. This one will be back. All right, that seems not good. Straight up, why play anything? We own you. You're halfway there, though you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rip all your cards, turn dead, dead by Grimora. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. What the? What the heck? Whatever, we actually just beat you and own your ass immediately. Your ass is... Oh, no, no, no. It's, wait, your ass is kind of dead? Because check this out. Hey, oh, 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 feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Oh, but you're just going to hit him. Just kidding. Frick you. Get out of here. You suck. You freaking suck. Oh dear, he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> mm. Give me your quill. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I know that is your ambition to replace Leshy, but between you and I, there will come an opportunity to change your mind and I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Five rares, mythic. Oh dude, the bone heap, man. The freaking bone heap. The first, whoa! Multiple packs. Battery low. My camera battery is low. Let's see what's going on back here. Now that I've killed you. Okay. That is just just Titan Souls me. You're just Titan Soulsing me. Donkey donkey. I mean this guy, he's just a normie. We got a good chance. Although maybe we should get to him last because. We're trying to replace him. Maybe he's the most powerful. A card pack. Uriuli! <laughs> I know a Uriuli when I see him. Dag nabbit, that dang hound got her. You think you think again? Not okay. I didn't mean to even fight you. I see that we got an angler here. Two equals three. What is this, Terrence Howard's Facebook? No, no fish, no pass. I don't want to go to the Rob, uh, the robot's house, Rob the robot's house, because I'm worried it's going to show my like tax returns on stream. I've been told. That's later? Okay, okay. That's next act. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> let's see. I don't know, man. Let's give it a... Whoa! I remember this room. Hello. Two. Seven. Three. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. No. No. Okay, hold on. We can do this. We can do... <laughs> I gotta relearn the visual language all over again. Okay, so we gotta do five damage. Let's be smart. How much damage are we doing right now? Mm, one. One. He's a genius. How much damage are we doing right now? One. Because this is blocking. Okay. But... If I bring you out here, how much damage are we doing? Two. Why not two? One plus one that misses, one that blocks, one that hits. Oh, because this guy's going to come over and block it. So then this would be three. No, because he blocks left to right. He can block more than one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, two. He's done it. Put the death touch on my side. All right, this shit is impossible. <laughs> no, no, no. Give me, yeah, give me the flyer, man. Now we got four damage. I mean, three da I mean, f three damage because the mole's going to block us. Hold on. 
put one of these scumbags out here. Now we got four damage. My death. Sasha, Fresh, Sasha. We're so close. We're so. I mean, the flyers are helpful. What? What about this? The death touch. The death touch kills the mole, so it doesn't jump, and thus we do two one two. Eat me, eat me. The drawer creaked open, and you found a pack inside. Rock hall. It provides an energy cell to its owner? What the heck? Mantis God. This is a great card. This is a great card, Mantis God. Hello. Oh, it's, it's the store owner. I don't know, man. I feel like we, like, should try it. Is it... Is it... Okay to fight this guy right now? It's it like this, he's not, he, he might kill us, but it's not going to be like, you should have hit the other three first. Okay, give me a dumpy me. I just trust you to make the strongest deck that you could possibly make here. Is that, is that reasonable? There's more cards in the safe. Don't, don't worry about the safe. Let me worry about the safe. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna slash marker, slash marker. This is inscription one. 